Today on Golf Life, welcome to our 19th season. As we tee it up for another round, we invite you to enjoy more stories from the game we love. Today, we meet a teacher dedicated to bringing young people into our game, and we go surfing with the top teacher to find out how he approaches golf. A SoCal top teacher provides you with a golf lesson. Plus, we visit a new concept in golf entertainment and show you a fun new way to ride your course. Let's get started with one of the coolest stories in golf course redevelopment as we learn how Goat Hill Park was saved and given new life in Oceanside, California. great here. We're one of the best munis around and we started off in 1952, still a municipal course, nine holes, and then it grew into an 18-hole short course but that we are today, par 65. We're the only course in Oceanside with an ocean view. I describe Goat Hill Park as a great walk in the park and it's a long shot and a short shot. So if you hit a 200-yard shot on most of the par fours, you'll have about a 75-yard shot in, though it is a little hilly, you never get a flat lie, you always be up and down, sideways a little bit. It's a great place for all skill levels. It doesn't take very long, uh, it doesn't cost very much. It's a great track, the greens are tricky. A few years back, the county was looking to uh, sell off the land. Uh, they were looking at many different opportunities, whether it be to the Chargers, whether it be a soccer field, a parking lot, a, a mall or anything. Um, to just you know, flip some profit or flip the, the land around because it really wasn't doing much, wasn't living up to its potential. So Mr. Ashworth uh, saw the opportunity there to come in and with a group of his investors uh, to help save Goat Hill. John gets up there and he says, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make it for the community. We're gonna put some gardens out there. We're gonna have some dogs and we're gonna have a, this for the kids and North County Junior Golf is gonna be there. I think John had 15 minutes to talk and he talked for seven. So they're like, okay. John's like, well, that's all I got. And they're like, well, would you, you got like eight more minutes, would you? He goes, well, I think that's, I think that's pretty good. You know, I've lived in this area my whole life. Played it as a kid growing up and in high school matches and stuff. So we play here all the time. So when it got really run down and they were going to put it out for a development proposal, you know, it was pretty obvious that somebody could easily come in and make it, you know, some kind of mixed-use condo retail development thing. You know, the community loves it. On a lark, we put our proposal in to save it. The whole community got behind, the whole golf community got behind this whole Save Goat Hill, you know, thing that we started. and. Uh, you know, it really kind of hit a chord with a lot of people. So we had a chance, we just, we kind of went for it. Multi-millions of dollars were put into this property by uh, John and his investment group when they initially took over and the course shut down for a period of months. I've heard reports that literally people were chipping on the greens because they were that bad. The first day we took it over, it was a Tuesday, we got the course at three o'clock. Our first customers come up. Hey, can we play? We're yeah, sure, we just took over. And um, they go, well, we brought our mat. And they had a mat. And we're like, oh, you've got your mat. Yeah, the mat for the fairway. We have a mat for the fairway and a mat for the rough. And we're like, oh, my. So they went out and played, and we were just like, oh, my gosh, what happened? Golf courses are the center of a community. It's a place for people to come together, if they, even if they don't play golf. That's why we like the whole park. It's a park atmosphere. I mean, you can come have a party or a wedding or, you know, just hang out. John Ashworth. He wants to give back to the community and continue uh, building partnerships with different organizations and agencies, and uh, including uh, Dean Wilson, who's a XPGA Tour player, who is now a partner in Goat Hill Park as well, along with Bill Murray, along with uh, a few other guys, Kelly Slater. Uh, they're all part of the Goat Hill family out here. We have people from literally all over the country who call in, who email in, who set times to come out because they're in town and they've heard all these great things about the course. They've heard about the Save Goat Hill project and they want to experience it. They want to be a part of the family. And so when I heard the story about Goat Hill, I was like, I, that's got to be a, it's a must stop. And we definitely want to say if you're in the area, stop by, stick your head in, check this out. You know, we'd love to have you. Do you want to learn to read greens and understand break more naturally? Get your hands on Level Head. It's a simple bubble level and a ball marker. To use Level Head, 
you simply place it on the green. If the bubble goes to the left or the right, you are on a side slope and you have a breaking putt. Line up the notches on level head toward the hole. Then use the line on your golf ball to line up the bubble. You'll be able to read the break, visualize the line, and focus on the speed of your putts. Level head also helps you practice reading uphill and downhill putts. Once you know the line, you will be much more confident and improve at reading greens. Level head is lightweight, fits in your bag, and can be used as a ball marker during practice rounds. To get level head now, head over to iron-ladgolf.com. Buy two level heads and get one free. Get yours at iron-ladgolf.com. We have your golf lessons for this week scheduled when we return to your golf life. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Your short game, shots from bunkers, or rough around the green. These are the shots that allow you to score and enjoy the game. The hybrid wedge solution from Blackmagic makes all these shots automatic. Use our patented face-forward hybrid wedges to hit perfect approach shots. Hit the ball higher from the fairway, the sand, and the rough. To order your hybrid wedge now, visit us at hwedge.com or call 877-799-6099. Order now at hwedge.com. Welcome back to Golf Life, your golf lifestyle show. Golf Life is sponsored in part by Fat Scooters. Join the single rider golf revolution and ride the course in a whole new way. Visit fatgolfscooters.com and by Grip Dry. Get a simple and effective solution to keep your grips clean and in great shape this season. Visit gripdry.com. Randy Chang is respected as one of the top junior golf teachers in the country. Let's learn more about his golf life. I wake up in the morning, I go look out in the surf, see how the waves are. And if they're good, I'm gonna go jump in there and get a few waves in. Even if it's not, just to get some exercise. And why a lot of surfers like golfing is because you can't force mother nature. <laughs> You have to kind of go along with the wave that is given to you. Golfing is very much the same way. I mean, you can't force yourself around a golf course. You have to, you know, get what the golf course gives to you and try to do the best that you can. My teaching philosophy is simply SURF. It's an acronym for simplicity, understanding, retention, and most importantly, fun. Golf is more failure than it is success. And how you deal with these failures and bounce back, I think is the most important part of life and things that I like to teach other people. What teaching does is just the satisfaction, you know, that you can help somebody and improve their game. I think any teacher or coach has that sense of gratification of why we do it after you can see that person and their face light up when they hit that ball further than they ever did or that clean hit and that sound, that speaks volumes. The real reason why I like playing these golf clubs is again, it's about the relationships and the people behind the clubs, either being made by the craftsmen or the people who sell them. I'm really on board with uh, the people that back the brand. I've always heard the saying, it's not personal, it's business. But I really disagree with that. I think in business, it has to be personal. And I think Honma and their craftsmen take it personal. That's why it's so good. They take what they do personal. And with that, I do the same thing with my teaching. I actually get very personal with my students because I care about them learning the game. And I believe Honda does the same. Here's a golf drill from Mike Maggs to help you with lag. 
Lag, most people don't really understand it or how to make it happen. They think it has to do with being really strong and hanging on and hanging on. The more we hang on, the more it really wants to go. What I'm gonna show you is, has a lot to do with what the trail arm is doing and how the body moves in the swing. What I'm doing with my students is I create a one-handed shot here to show as I take it back with my arm and down through with my belt buckle, it's gonna create that lag. What we're gonna do is a little hard with one hand. We're gonna put two hands on. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna keep this very small. We're just gonna go club parallel, straight back, going back with our shoulders, and then the downswing is gonna be the belt buckle pulling through. To do this, you have to be soft enough in your body and then have your elbow and your wrist just soft enough that it can absorb the change of direction. So as you see, right as you're getting to the top, we're gonna change directions and go. You're gonna keep your head down, let the club go by, and the toe of the club pop right up. So if we see the very simple drill where we take it to parallel, right as we're getting to the top, we're gonna have a little softness in our wrist and our right elbow, or our trail elbow, and then we're gonna shift and release. You can see my head stays down, and I went ahead and let the toe of the club come up. So here we go, let's see if we can create some lag. So make sure if you wanna hear more about these kind of tips, go to our website, www.southerncalgolfacademy.com or see us on social media at Southern Cal Golf Academy. Thank you. Now we head out to Florida where the fit golf girl, Carolina Romero, provides some help for back pain in your game. Hello there, fit golfers. My name is Carolina Romero, and I am a golf fitness expert, also known as the fit golfer girl. And today I'm going to be showing you the best stretches and exercises that you can do to improve your shoulder turn during the golf swing. Let's get started. First up, we got open books. This exercise will help you stretch out your mid-back to increase the range of motion of your golf swing rotation. While laying on your side with your knees bent, use your bottom arm to hold your legs down. Extend your top arm in front of you and begin turning as far as you can go while maintaining your knees down. You will feel a deep stretch in your mid-back, chest and shoulders. Perform 12 to 20 reps per side. Reachbacks are another great dynamic stretch to improve your golf swing shoulder turn. Start on your hands and knees and place one of your hands behind your head. Begin rotating your torso and head as far as you can go. You will feel a deep stretch in your mid-back. Repeat 12 to 20 times per side. For the following exercise, I am using a tool known as the MISIC, which stands for the most important stretch in golf. The MISIC allows you to stretch your back, shoulders, and hips while simulating the golf swing motion. You can adjust the intensity of the stretch by sliding your trail arm further up the tube or using a heavier resistance band. In order to keep your body balanced, repeat 12 to 20 times per side. The most important stretch in golf is the golf fitness tool used by Fit Golf Girl. Missig is available to help your swing now at feelthestretch.com. Use the code FEEL to get $15 off and free shipping. Visit feelthestretch.com and find out how the most important stretch in golf will stretch your back and get your swing more on plane. Available now at feelthestretch.com. When we return to Golf Life, we return to Oceanside and visit with the founder of North County Junior Golf. Here's a great golf solution called Grip Drive. It's simple and easy to use, saving you money and keeping your grips in great condition. Grip Drive simply snaps on the shaft of your putter or wedges. For chip shots into the green, snap it on your putter to keep that grip dry. And if you're carrying a couple wedges, simply stack your clubs on grip dry. Once you're on the green, just snap grip dry on the shaft of your wedges to protect your grips. Grip dry fits in your back pocket for easy access. Or use our powerful magnet to snap onto your golf cart so it's easy to take to the green. Grip dry provides a convenient ball marker that is always with you. When your grips are dry and in great shape, you will simply play better. Order your Grip Dry right now at GripDry.com. Enter the code GOLFLIFE and save 20% on your order. Head to GripDry.com and use the code GOLFLIFE. Grip Dry, snap it on your shaft. Sit tight, you're on the lesson tee with Golf Life when we return. Welcome back to Golf Life, sponsored by High Heat 257 Plus. The hottest metal woods and hybrids across the face available. Try High Heat risk-free and gain distance guaranteed at highheatgolf.com. And by Four Yards More, a unique golf tee that reduces spin and gives you more distance. Get Four Yards More golf tees at fouryardsmore.com. 
If you love teaching kids golf and you get to save a favorite golf course, then you get to live next door. Well, that might sound like a dream come true, and it did for Dave Emmerich. Here's his golf life story. Well, I'm a, I'm a local Oceanside guy, right? So I'm kind of a local guy who's, who's the head pro, host pro at his own course, you know? So, I mean, it's unbelievable, it's unreal. Yeah, I live on the 18th fairway and I wake up and I open the shutters and I look at the course and the, the sunrise and I go to sleep and I, I'm right there at the course all day long. Even when I go home from work, I'll, I'll come out and play night golf. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's golf 24 seven. Nice shot. You are a show off, look at you. It's a dream come true. It's, you know, one of those things that I've always dreamed about is being a pro at a local course and being part of the community and being able to have a house right across the street where I actually take a cart to work every day. It's, it's a dream and I, I pinch myself daily that this is reality and I hope it never ends. Show me where your bounce is of the club. Bounce? Yep. Show me the bounce. Oh, bounce. What's the bounce? Well, I've been teaching now for over 30 years. It kind of all started, my junior golf teacher started when our son was born, Evan Emmerich, uh, in 1990. So when he was eight years old, well, he started playing when he was younger. But when he was eight years old, he wanted to play in some tournaments. And they wouldn't let him play the local tournament. So I started North County Junior Golf. And that's really when my junior golf teaching uh, took off. And I saw the, the value of teaching kids. Uh, I'm kind of like a kid myself. They keep me young. I, I enjoy their positive energy. Well, you know, if a kid comes to me and says, hey, I want to play at Stanford. I'm not gonna discourage them. I say, you can do that, but this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to work hard. You're gonna have to put this many hours in. You're gonna have to do, you know, get good grades. I mean, the grades are always important. And I never discourage a kid from trying to reach their goal or their dream. And we're here to provide those opportunities for those kids. And the parents can buy into the whole situation too and, and not get so worried about the results. I mean, a kid will have one bad day and the, the parents are like, you need a new coach. You need more lessons. You need more of this. It's just part of the game, the ups and downs. I started North County kind of Junior Golf in 1998, and uh, at Rancho Carlsbad, just a little course. We had about 12 members, 12 kids play the first tournament. It was more for my son and his friends that we just started this, and, and I had been good friends with John for since 1980, and uh, I met with John, and I said, hey, John, you know, I started North County kind of Junior Golf. He goes, no, you didn't. I go, yeah, I did. He goes, no, you didn't. You didn't start North County kind of Junior Golf. It started in 1965. He says, I used to play North County kind of Junior Golf. So I'm like, oh, okay, great. I guess I didn't start North County kind of Junior Golf, but..." We're doing it. It was a girl named Alana Ural who's currently playing at Arkansas on the number one team. I was caddying for her. We went up to LA for the tournament. She's like, I'm really nervous. And I go, I go, Alana, I go, these girls, you're not as good as these girls. These girls are they're way better than you. I go, you've got no chance. So we put on Miley Cyrus came on, you know, that LA song about it. So we're singing and, and you know, talking to sing, and I take her to the course and she just She's playing along. She shoots like one over on the front, and then she's got into the zone. And she had been a cross country runner, so she had that other, the inner drive to compete. And um, it was just magic. I mean, things started happening on the back nine. She she got in a bunker with a short pin, and she's I'm thinking, oh, jeez, and she she knocks it out like this, like a foot, and taps it in. And then we get to 17, and she's oh my gosh. I go, hey, this is the 75 yard shot we work on every day at the cross, and just hit the shot. She hits it to a foot, makes it, pars last hole, and she goes, I, I, she goes, how'd I do? I go, I, you did pretty well. I go, what'd you shoot? She goes, I have no idea. She goes, I think I shot 80. I go, no, you shot 74, you won the tournament. That was probably my one of my most rewarding stories, is working with Alana, yeah. The best way to get your kid involved in golf is to find a PJ pro, a local pro who has a class. Uh, Saturday junior class or Sunday junior class or after school program. Right now we're going to work with the Boys and Girls Club uh, in Oceanside here. So Boys and Girls Club will have some, some opportunities. Uh, the first tee or if there's a local pro kids first tee in your area, that's another great way to get the kids started. Let's catch up with Sean Fister, the three-time world long drive champion, who asked to share a new idea he's found to help everyone hit the golf ball further with more consistency. Hi, I'm Sean Fister. I'm here today to talk to you about the High Heat Golf Clubs. Their technology is some of the best technology I've seen in the, all the years I've been competing as a long driver, and now that I'm retired from that, I'm just playing golf. All the clubs that, that are out there, the major brands, 
they're kind of keying on the tour players and stuff, but once you get clubs like that, it's not really designed for you. Knuth Golf, the high heat drivers, are designed with the average golfer in mind, and they want you to hit it as far as possible. They've come up with this technology that if you hit it off center, on the toe or on the heel, you're actually gonna hit the ball just as far as you would on a center hit. And that is great for confidence. If you know you're gonna be able to hit the ball the same distance wherever you hit it on the face, that's huge. Having that confidence that you're gonna hit a driver that looks good, it feels good, and the ball just explodes off the face. And when you find yourself further down the fairway, like I did, you're gonna to wanna to be hitting that driver because I can tell you, if I'd had this technology in my drivers when I was competing, I probably would have won a few more championships. Head to highheatgolf.com. You'll save 15% if you tell them you heard about High Heat on Golf Life. We try out two fun new ways to enjoy our game when Golf Life returns. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Welcome back to Golf Life, sponsored in part by Hanma Golf. Mastering the craft of club making since 1959. Are you in pursuit of unparalleled craftsmanship? Find it at hanmagolf.com. And by Levelhead, the ball marker that reads the greens. Enter code GOLFLIFE to save 20% at iron-ladgolf.com. It's time to enjoy the golf course in a whole new way. Introducing the single rider golf revolution started by fat scooters. Let's ride the course. We've just been exposed to the fat scooter and uh, we really like it. And from a cost standpoint, it fits right in line with a traditional golf cart. It's about half. So that, that allows us as operators to you know, make the same amount of revenue if we were gonna rent two of those. So it's just like having a golf cart. So we, we really like that model and we think it's gonna fit for us here at Mesa Country Club. Pace of play is a huge deal, especially out of these golf courses. So if everyone can just go to their own ball and not have to worry about like going to two separate balls on opposite sides of the fairway, it'll definitely speed up pace of play. For a younger generation like me, like a millennial, I think this is something that could give you the incentive to go to the golf course and maybe it reaches a broader audience base because we like to have fun, we like to enjoy stuff, but we can take it seriously too. Traditional is what we're not, so that's why we love the fat scooter, because it's not a traditional mode of transportation out on the golf course. So we're really excited about it. Today's golf industry, there's less and less people playing, and I think that you know, this is a type of thing that can get people that maybe don't play or don't think it's you know, cool to play to kind of take a look at golf and, and come out and, and grow this game. Fat Scooters was selected as 2018 Editor's Choice Awards by Golf Digest. If you want to learn more, visit fatgolfscooters.com. Now we head to Santa Ana, California, where we stepped inside a golf lab of sorts for a new way to enjoy the game of golf called Next Links. Next Links is taking advantage of the trend of golf entertainment, but it's about driving people towards the real game of golf using golf entertainment as the vehicle. So at the core of everything we do is, is fundamental and authentic golf. And we dress it up like a nightclub here and there and we put spotlights or targets or things that people that don't golf are comfortable with out there so that they can engage using a putter and a golf ball but in a way that uh, they feel like they're doing something they're familiar with while they're learning the real skills of golf. Get in the hall. I think it's amazing. And for a non-golfer who's never even played golf before, I would come again because I was able to perfect my game from the beginning to the end and actually get balls in the hole. 
It's great socially because you get to meet new people and you get to be on teams with people you've never met before and you get to share the losses and the wins together. A completely different perception of golf. That this is the fun side of golf when you're out and you're playing for four hours and it just gets kind of long and drawn out and boring. This condenses it and it's something that you can be social and talk and have a good time with your friends. The core of everything we do is, is a complete game of real golf. So you play in a golf simulator, which have been around for 15, 20 years, but when they get to the short game, simulators sort of break down and, and you can't really keep score the way you want to in real golf. So we've, we've disconnected the game at that point and created a genuine short game environment that looks, plays and feels exactly like a real golf course. I've golfed for years before I had my daughter and then now life has switched and I don't have the luxury of going out and playing around for four or five hours. So if I could bring her and some of her friends or even I could just you know, have her off in a play date for a couple of hours. It's something I'd bring my girlfriends, it's something I'd bring a group of friends to, and it's something that's more social and fun and relaxed. We're playing darts, we're playing cornhole. You know, there's so many different elements that are brought into it that just make it hilarious. Rather than when you're on the course, you're just stuck with that one model. Go to our website, nextlinks.com, and uh, all of our information flows from there. If you'd like to learn more about us, we're all over social media. Just go to nextlinks.com, and it'll take you anywhere you want to go. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Visit us at golflife.com to sign up for our gear giveaway. Plus, we're sending golf gifts to our Golf Life followers on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Make sure to head over to golflife.com for free golf videos, news, and gear reviews. I'm Kate Collins. Look for Golf Life next week on this channel.